Yeah. <laughs> yep, welcome back to another of Gavin's Grotty Guitars. Frank the Cat's still here. Let's turn the amp on. Look at some of these bad boys. Changing the pedals. Um, it's been pointed out that the Big Muff Pie fuzz, of course, is um, first of all an acquired taste. Yeah, my acquired taste, thank you. Um, but it is just a fuzz which is rather compressive and uh, sounds like a farty bee. So, changed it quite happily. For Super Overdrive, which let's just put everything at 12. And um, the G7 equaliser, if it's needed. So, in Gavin's Grotty Guitars, is probably the guitar I've got most of. And I'm not sure why, on this respect. Um, it is this, which is, this is the Squire by Fender Stage Master. Standard series, this one. Um, about 99, 98, 2000, Fender started doing stage masters fuck's sake oh hello yes and get sued well yes libel Deuteranium. Right, okay. Right, where was I? Um, about ninety nine, two thousand Fender. Did stage masters or show masters? Let's ignore the fact that there's two names: stage masters and show masters. Um, they were all called one once. They all had to change their name to the other one because I think um, Gretsch or somebody had um, already got the trademark on that name and said, "Hey, um, you ought to change it. That's our name." All right. What they are, though. His Fender started off doing them, did them for a couple of years, then Squire did them. Um, I never quite remembered where these were made. I think these, the version one, which I've got one in the garage, which is the multicoloured paint job one, it's awful. Um, it's a bolt on neck, it is reverse headstock. It's a normal trem, HSS, and it's not very good. Um, which is why it was my paint palette for playing about with. Um, let me just tune. Back in the room. So, the version one is a cheap Squire version of it. They've all got reverse headstocks. That's the one thing they've got in common. This is a version two probably about 2002, I think. Um, things of note, reverse headstock, Floyd Trem, licensed, um, HSS, nice neck join, which you see on some of the professional ones. Basically, it's a super strapped type thing. You can see it's back cavity, everything needs um, <coughs> a 
certainly needs some covers there, doesn't it? What I did with this is there was a bit of a junk when I bought it, I think for 50 quid. So I, there were some scratches and what have you on it. Under inspiration from others, I sanded the living daylights out of it to make it look worn and relict. It doesn't look worn and relict, it looks like somebody's attacked it with a hammer and a sander. Um, because it was purple, I thought a bright blue set of racing stripes would look good. Because it was purple and blue, I put a bright green. Um, it looks like um, is it Dimasio Invader, I think. High output, nasty thing. That's actually a, um, a Chinese knockoff. Um, I thought the guitar didn't cost much. I'm not going to spend much on the pickup. It's not awful. Um, the knobs back in the late 80s, early 90s when everybody had super strats the only thing I could afford was actually the knobs these are knobbies knobs look them up they're squishy plastic, lots of grip on them and they came in a variety of horrible day glow colours I think it works rather well <laughs> So this is a version 2, which is the bolt-on neck version. There's a 3 and there's a version 4, which I have far too many of, which I'm sure we'll see later. They were neck-through versions, um, and they had Seymour-designed pickups in them. Um, I think they're bloody great, especially second-hand for the money. But, um, let's give it a bit of a go through the old amp. that. Not bad for 50 quid of guitar, 10 quid of pickup and um, <coughs> nothing at all. It plays well, it's ugly as sin, nobody apart from me likes it. Great. Um, so yes it, it really does fulfill its means as a Gavin's Grotty guitar. Things I particularly like is the fact that it has small uh, fret markers, notably smaller than anybody else. Um, as you know, I don't like fret markers. Why get in the way of lovely wood? Anyway, till next time, keep safe. Look out for this. Um, Stage Master. Look for the second series. Look for ones with Floyd's on. And version 4, which um, I'm sure will turn up very soon. Which are superb for the money. Ta-ra, keep safe, keep inside.